Brianne, your team showed a great unity after the red card, and you played like a well-oiled machine. It was it was very nice to see. I think uh, I think we started the game quite nice and and quite good. And then of course with a red card, you you never know what happened. But uh, I have to give a lot of credit to uh, to the team and to the players. They they stayed calm. They they kept playing football and. Um, and kept working hard for each other when we didn't have the ball. So it was uh, it was a really game, good game from from uh, from the boys and uh, big uh, big respect to them from uh, 10 against 11 to to pick up three points and and a fully fully deserved win. You decided to bet on Karabets uh, in the offensive lineup and it has paid off. Yeah, it was good to see uh, Kara uh, perform in this way, in many aspects defensively also. He uh, he showed a good discipline in in his work. Uh, offensively, I, I think I said it a couple of times already uh, before. Uh, we're not in doubt of his, his offensive qualities. He, um, he's, he's capable of finding some good spots, and, and we know his left foot is, is lethal. So it was good for him to uh, to get uh, to get the goals, to get some confidence. I know um, I talked to him before before the game yesterday, and he uh, he struggled a little bit with the uh, with the big chance he missed in in, in Sevilla in uh, in the midweek. But uh, but today he showed the mental uh, aspect of the game also to be strong and to keep the uh, confidence in your in your play. Haraslin was a substitute uh, due to injury. Uh, how did it influence your tactics? Um, yeah, well, of course, it, it, we had to make a change um, and, and to figure out what to do. And at the end, uh, it showed out that uh, Kukta was, uh, was ready. Uh, he's, he's never happy and definitely not sitting next to me on the bench. But uh, he, he definitely made an, um, an impact when he came in and, and scored a beautiful goal. Of course, we, we hope it's not too serious with, uh, with uh, Shulo. Can you maybe uh, share the details uh, about uh, the injury? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. It, it, looks, uh, it looks a little bit painful to his calf, but, uh, but how serious, I, I don't know. I think uh, now you are glad that uh, the international break is here. Well, I think uh, in some aspects, yes. We're, we're, uh, we're all quite happy with, uh, with the games we played now. Uh, I think it's seven games in 24 days, and, and I think we, uh, we had some really good moments. Um, taken up a lot of points and also played some good football. Um, so now, of course, some of them have to go away with the international duties and the rest of us will will um, will train a bit at home in, in, in Stahov. But um, we're, we're, we're looking forward to, to play again. We, we enjoy playing games at the moment, for sure. Uh, if you ask some of the guys, they, they would rather play games than train. So so they, they need to be ready and, um, and we will definitely also be ready in, in two weeks' time. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Mirianu Preskemu se krásně koukalo na to, jak tým dokázal zareagovat na neúplně povedený vstup do zápasu. Byla tam červená karta, navíc střídání úvod nebyl dobrý, ale dal vlastně svým hráčům velký respekt za to, jak zápas se odehráli a že to dokázali zvládnout za tři body. Adam Karabec se dneska makal podle Briana Preskeho i v defenzivě to, že má nějaký příspěvek do ofenzivy, to se o něm ví, což dneska i potvrdil. Hraslín musel nuceně střídat, zatím Brian Preske neví, jak to vypadá s jeho zdravotní stavem místo Hraslí našel do hry Jan Kuchta, který dal také krásný gol, zápas hodně odpracoval a samozřejmě uh, Brian Priske je rád za to, jak Sparta zvládla poslední zápasy, sedm zápasů v 28 dnech, náročné duely se Sláví s Viktorkou Plzeň. Uh, teď je čeká reprezentační přestávka, potrénují, dobí baterky, ale už se těší na další duely, které budou následovat po reprezentační přestávce.